New at 11, a vigil tonight on Long Island for a mother murdered in front of her two-year-old son, and police say it was the child's own father who did it. Jennifer Bisram has the heartbreaking story from Hempstead. Say that violence has no place in our community. With candles in their hands and tears in their eyes, dozens gathered on Long Island Friday night to remember 29-year-old Brenda Alfaro, a mother murdered in front of her two-year-old son inside her Hempstead home. He was full of life, a great mother. We need justice for this baby because he didn't deserve to lose his mom and to go what he went through. Police say 43-year-old Jose Fuenes Zabala, her son's father, who she was no longer in a relationship with, stabbed her more than 30 times last weekend, just one day after an order of protection expired. Well, she, she had conversations with him and he promised that he was going to change and she really thought that he was going to change, that he was a changed man. The young mother from El Salvador was in a support group for domestic violence after officials say he was also abusive to their son when he was just months old. And officials say if you or anyone you know is experiencing any form of domestic violence, speak up. Reach out. Reach out. Call the cops. Don't, don't stay quiet. We're here uh, with our police department to make sure when people call and need help, we respond. But the key is to say something. According to the World Health Organization, one and three women are affected by intimate partner violence. Still, advocates say domestic violence cases are underreported. It could be fear because a lot of them are undocumented. So it could be because of that reason. And they're afraid that if they say something, they're going to be deported. The, they just decide not to because of the kids, because they don't want to put the kids through the hurt. She was a loving person, very quiet, very shy. And I'm just so heartbroken that this happened to her. On Long Island, Jennifer Bisram, CBS News, New York. Now, if you or someone you know are in a domestic violence situation, there are plenty of resources. For more information on how to get confidential support and other services, head to cbsnewyork.com.